Previously, we learned about containers and how they could accept one child and the widgets if would be used inside that child would be nested. Now that's not the case with all the widgets available in Flutter. We do have certain widgets that allow multiple children to be added, added within them. So for this video, we shall focus on two of them, namely row and column, and how they can be used to arrange a number of widgets within them. So basically, a row is used to display a certain number of widgets in a horizontal manner across the screen, and a column is used to display these widgets vertically across the screen. Now let us try to apply these concepts and make some widgets display in a row. So we begin by defining body as a row. And now within this row, we say children. Now the difference here is that in a container when we used a child, because it could only accept a single child, we used child. But since in a row we can add multiple number of children, so we type children and widget. So moving on, we add an icon. So let's say we add the icon that we have been using in the previous examples. We say male underscore outline. We change the size of this icon a bit for visibility. Perfect. Now what I am going to do is that I am going to make certain copies of this widget. Now let's say make uh, four of them. One more. And there we go. Now just to improve the understanding of this particular example and just to Im imply the fact that we can use multiple widgets here, let us change the second widget to a text and say mm, male. Let us also change the third to a different icon. Let's say uh, she used the icon uh, search. Yeah, search would be good. And we would change the text as the fourth widget and say search. Let us also increase the font size of the both text as well to make it more visible. Zero. Looks good. Let's just copy this here as well. Perfect. Now let's make a reload and see what happens. Now as you can see, we have four different widgets, say an icon, some text, an icon again, and a text, which are being displayed in a row. But this looks a bit odd. Well, I think there is a spacing issue between these widgets that we have used. So the concept behind aligning them into the way you want depends on two different concepts. So one of them is called a main axis of the screen and one would be the cross axis of the screen. Now the main axis and the cross axis, they both are different for row and column which you would understand better with this particular example. So to understand it more easily, we can say that the main axis of a row would be in the direction in which the widgets are being displayed. So for example, in this particular example, the direction would be from left to the right. So here the main axis would be from the left to the right. And similarly for the column, it column it would be from the top to the bottom. Now when we talk about cross axis, the cross axis for this particular row would be from the top to the bottom, which would be the opposite of the direction as I mentioned. So you see the cross axis for the row to be from top to bottom and the cross axis for the column to be from the left to the right. So based on these concepts, we can add a certain alignment. So to do that alignment, we will alter the main axis of the row. 
So we say main axis alignment. And now there are a set of different alignments that we can use here. So we can set it to center, we can add some space at the end, maybe a space around them. So these are pretty self-explanatory. So for this, let us use space evenly. Now what this does is that it has evened the space between every widget from the left to the right and the top and the bottom so that they look more organized. Now since this is clear, let us try to apply the same concept in a column. So that's pretty simple. All we have to do is change row to the column. And now you will see that they are aligned in a column manner vertically from top to bottom. Now the space that you see here is because of the main axis alignment. So as we changed from we changed from a row to a column, the main axis alignment for this particular these particular widgets has also changed from a row to a column, which would be now from top to bottom, and it has placed even spaces from the top to the bottom inside these widgets, in between these widgets. So that is pretty much it for uh, row and column, and we will learn different things in the next video.